Why do you think some men ask women first how many children they have or if they have children first before they ask if they are even in a relationship? Personally, I would be interested in knowing whether or not someone has kids before I pursue a relationship with them. I don't know how many men do this, but I would assume they're asking because of the financial implications. Um, children are expensive. Raising kids is expensive. Raising someone else's kids. Yeah. Don't ask me if I got all these kids. You don't even know if I'm available, okay? You ask me how many kids I have. You don't even know if I'm single or not. <laughs> you know, this question is so funny. I think it just depends on the man. I think it depends on the man. I think it depends on where the man is, what he's trying to gain out of it, um, and where he's trying to go. So if I'm a man and I don't necessarily want to deal with children, I may ask first <laughs> how many children you have uh, because maybe I don't want to deal with that aspect of who you are, that component of who you are. And so my first question and my uh, uh, concern might be how many children you have. Larger investment a lot of the time. Um, so if I'm gonna get involved with someone with kids, sometimes there might be an implication of a high level of commitment. And if that's not what I'm interested in at the moment, and that's just something that I'm not interested in pursuing. Real man will understand that a responsibility uh, has to come first. So I think a man will ask that because now you're, you are, you are measuring the amount of um, time that that person can allocate to whatever you're trying to build. A real man understands that children always comes first. A woman cannot choose you over their offspring. So I think men will ask that so they can gauge the level of seriousness or the amount of time that they're gonna put in that relationship. Or some men ask women, how many kids do you have before they ask, are you in a relationship? Because relationships are temporary. You have one or two or three, you know what I mean? The first thing a man's gonna think about is, okay, well, where do I fall? And it may seem or sound a little selfish when I say it, but men are gonna be like, okay, where do I fall on the priority scale? How many kids you got already determines, well, potentially how many baby fathers you got. Is it one guy with two kids? Is it one guy for your one kid? Is it, you know what I mean? Do you got men that help out for your one kid? What do I potentially have to deal with for the men that choose to come and go in and out of your life? Some men, oftentimes we know that most women are not in a relationship when they're talking to you. I want to give women a, a lot of credit here. Uh, most women, when they encounter you, most of them are not in a relationship. They, they're single, right? So most men don't have to ask a woman um, if they're in a relationship or not. Because once again, most, I said most, I'm emphasizing most, most women are not in a relationship. They, they're usually free when they're talking to you. Now, I'm not gonna indict the men today because these questions are about women. Uh, but however, however, um, I just believe that that's not a question that men have to ask. We don't have to ask. We automatically assume that if you're talking to us, you're single. Uh, whether they want to continue to talk to you after they get to know you is another thing. How realistic is it for a man and a woman to truly be best friends friends that means nothing sexual ever happened now friends with benefits how realistic is it for a man and a woman to truly be best friends it's very realistic I think if you don't have a platonic relationship in your life it says something negative about you uh, I think if you're a male or a female and you struggle with having with with having a relationship with the opposite sex, um, and it doesn't require sex. Um, I think you need to look into that. I think it's absolutely possible. I think that if you genuinely don't have an interest in uh, in pursuing anything more than a friendship with someone that is the other sex, that is completely possible. Uh, personally, I don't believe in women best friends. There's information um, that has to be shared. Um, with men and women that men are just much more comfortable sharing, especially locker room talk with men. Um, I, do I have female best friends? I actually do have two that I consider to be my best friend, but will they ever truly be on the same level as my male best friends? Probably not. 
<laughs> this is this is a tough question. I think that it is possible for two individuals to be friends. However, we live in a society that has polluted everything that was supposed to be done righteously and good. We polluted it. We've made it bad. I'm just going to be honest. It's just my opinion. Uh, I think that it depends on who the person is and how forthcoming they are with relationships. I don't call people best friends who I am interested in or who I once had a relationship with. If you're just calling her best friend because you know you can't be with her or you're just calling him best friend because you know you don't have a chance at being with her, that is not your best friend. I personally think that men and women can truly just be best friends. You know what I mean, I feel like anybody you're going to be around continuously you're going to care about but without that i mean would you really be best friend i definitely gotta say thank you to the five kings who joined my project on what is a toxic woman and make sure you subscribe for more of chrissy speaks content thank you very much for your time thank you for the questions and so once again, everybody, I'm uh, Dwayne Williams Jr. And uh, I hope my answers helped you a whole lot. Have a wonderful day.